Here's what's happening on Junos Connect. With threats to your network getting more and more sophisticated, we'll show you how app secure technology can keep your info safe. Plus, we'll take you through the whiteboard where we show you how compression and caching can optimize your network. Hi everyone, I'm Kara Suboy. And I'm Patrick Wickstrom. And welcome to Junos Connect, your one-stop video source for all things Junos. First off today, we have some literary news. Right, hot off the presses, Patrick. Juniper has teamed up with IBM to create a new data center network connectivity handbook. It's an easy to use reference tool for creating and deploying IBM open systems with Juniper routing and switching solutions. Get your free PDF download at juniper.net slash books. And while we're on the topic of switching, keep an eye on the community site for details about our next tech cafe on August 23rd and 24th. It's going to be focused on switching topics such as virtual chassis technology, you know, space, and network migration. We also have a new day one booklet available about deploying SRX. Visit Juno Central to get your free download. And speaking of SRX, we're working hard on a Juno's SRX book that's going to be published from O'Reilly. It's coming out late summer. Stay tuned. Great, and last but not least, join us on August 5th for a live webcast. Hear all about the new and exciting enhancements to the certification program. You can interact with the team and get your questions answered. Reserve your seat on Juno Central. Are you looking to mitigate sophisticated attacks with minimal service impact? The first is a protocol decode, so we go through the network. Drive. Stick around, find out how app secure technology can help you do just that. What goes better with a cup of coffee? than Juniper switches. Join the Tech Cafe August 23rd and 24th. Bring your coffee and your technical questions about virtualization, automation with Juno Space, and simplifying network migration. That's the Tech Cafe August 23rd and 24th. Welcome back to Junos Connect, your video source for all things Junos. I'm Kara Suboy. Many of our viewers are responsible for administration, monitoring, and security of data center networks. But with critical data becoming more centralized in data centers, how can you protect these key assets? Joining us today is Peter Lunk, Director of Product Marketing for High End SRX. Thanks for joining us, Peter. And let's start by talking about the problem, some of the threats that are out there right now. Yeah, we've seen really an increase in the number of exploits that are targeting specific vulnerabilities within applications on the network. So then rather than going after network vulnerabilities in general, they'll look at applications that may be approved to run on the network and taking advantage of some of the, uh, some of the weaknesses there. So to address these threats, your team came up with AppSecure. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So a lot of customers have been asking us for a way to take a, another level of protection into the network beyond just the firewall and say, how do we look at the applications uh, in more detail? And so AppSecure is really a, a product that consists of four key components. And the first of that is AppTrack, which gives you the visibility into which applications are running on the network, allows you to take further action based on the fact that you've identified which application it is. Uh, the second one is an app firewall capability, which allows you to permit or deny specific applications on the network. So some things may be allowed, like you may allow Yahoo Instant Messenger on that, whereas some things may be denied across that network. To go further into that, we have the ability to then do quality of service with app class, which then would allow you to prioritize certain applications above others. So if you have mission critical applications that are running, whether that's running your manufacturing line or whether that's something like uh, something bringing in revenue, you can prioritize those up at a high level and then you can prioritize things like general web and surfing traffic lower on the network. And then finally, there's AppDOS, which is a protection against di distributed denial of service attacks that might be targeting weaknesses in applications and uh, taking advantage of some of the vulnerabilities there. I want to know more about the first component, the app track. How does it know which applications are running? There's a couple pieces to that. The first is a protocol decode, so we go through the network traffic, take a look at what protocol is running, and then we have a signature database that has over 700 application signatures. So we can take a look at those and match that up against a signature and say, ah, oh, okay, we can now understand that that might be Facebook running on the network. Facebook, huh? Yeah. <laughs> is that a common one that people are using or would need to use this for? Sure, we, we have seen some requests. So. 
and one of the other capabilities within uh, AppTrack is the ability to look at nested applications. So within Facebook, you may have additional applications running things like Mafia Wars or Farmville, something like that. So while you may have legitimate business uses to run Facebook, so you may want to permit that application on your network, you can then go further in, take a look at the nested application and say, okay, we're going to deny uh, people spending a whole bunch of time on Mafia Wars and Farmville. Yeah, it'd be hard to legitimize that as working hours. So. Well, I'm sure it's someone's job. Someone's job, yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much, Peter. Appreciate the time. To learn more about app secure technology, the team will take a deep dive at a live webcast in late August. Check Juno Central for all the details. So this place caching uses a very, very similar technique. Stay tuned. We'll be right back to show you what you can do to speed up your network and accelerate delivery of mission-critical applications. The new network is going to demand a new kind of IT professional. It's going to demand your creativity, your vision, your knowledge. Junos will be the platform for new network innovation, and it'll be more important than ever to keep pace. Getting Junos certified is going to give you the skills you need. It'll help you see your new network vision through. It'll set you apart from the competition. Juniper's Fast Track program is designed to help you get started at your convenience. The new network is about you. Welcome back to Junos Connect. I'm Kara Suboy. Despite the fact that we've come a long way from dial-up, network bandwidth is still a precious resource, especially with some of today's demanding business applications. How can you get the most of your wide area network? Patrick is with Tim Richards, Director of Product Management for WAN Acceleration, to talk about how you can optimize your network. Patrick? Thanks, Kara. So Tim, we've had a specific request from a viewer about how to optimize their network, especially around compression and caching. What kind of solutions do we offer? There's two basic solutions, and I'll talk you through these. So first one is compression. So compression is typically a piece of software we run in a Juniper system or appliance that will look at packet streams floating through the appliance or the system and look for repetitive sets of information and compress them down. Typically, those sets of information are quite small in nature and also quite close together. Gives you a benefit typically of two to 10 times as you pump data through the network. So that deals with things at more of a micro level. At more of a macro level, we can get much, much greater benefits, typically up to perhaps 100 times improvement by using this thing called disk-based caching. So disk-based caching uses a very, very similar technique, but it looks for much, much larger sets of repetitive information over much, much greater spans of packet streams. Um, signatures are associated with the sets of repetitive data and stored on disk, and we do the same at the other end with a peer appliance and as such, we can then synchronize that information across the network and reinstantiate the information at the other end. So you can increase your bandwidth for running applications. What kind of other solutions do we have? So there's a few things that we can do, and let me uh, show you over here on this uh, example. Um, so here we have uh, a user machine connecting through to uh, um, a server or application server, um, and it's running across a wide area network. Now, as soon as you insert a wide area network between two locations, you induce latency. Most applications run over a protocol called TCP. It's been around for a long time, solid protocol, but it can have challenges and issues as soon as you put latency in place. What we want to try and do is enhance the user experience for application usage. But to do so, we have to drive TCP as fast as we can. So in this particular situation, appliances at either end of the wide area link can be used to proxy those TCP connections back, convince the systems at either end that they're talking to something local and driving data much, much faster. So once we do that, we can increase user experience, but that's just fixing the TCP protocol. Right, so then we had the applications running on top of that. So how did we optimize for those? On top of TCP, you then have applications such as file and print sharing with SIFS, um, email with uh, MAPI, uh, and they exhibit similar issues. They transfer data synchronously in blocks across the network, and you need to try and spin that up and drive much, much greater throughput. So we do very, very similar thing. We basically proxy those connections back, convince people that they're next to each other and talking and drive much, much greater throughput. It also works in a similar way for HTTP-based applications as well. Okay, great. Thanks, Tim. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. You can find more information on Juno Central. That's it for this episode. For Patrick Wickstrom, I'm Kara Suboy. We'll see you next time right here on Juno's Connect.